Hello and welcome back. This is Ashkul Rafi once again. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can design a beautiful mobile responsive personalized email newsletter template just like this one and how you can send your very first email campaign using MailChimp step by step. So first of all, let me give you a clear overview on this template which we are going to design throughout this video. As you can see as the first element we have got this clickable header image. If someone clicks on this image, they will be visiting a specific landing page. After that we have got this embedded video. If someone clicks here, they will be able to watch a video in a new tab. After that we have got this clickable button. If someone clicks here on this button, they will be visiting a specific landing page. After that we have got our social media icons. If someone clicks on Facebook, they will be visiting my Facebook page and so on. Then finally we have got this footer section which is really really important as you can see it is containing our unsubscribe link it is containing our address information and copyright information so we should have all of these information in an email newsletter template because other than that it is not going to comply with the can spam act law of email marketing so i have got everything covered throughout this video so please watch this one till the end to learn how to set up your very first beautiful mobile responsive email newsletter template and how to send your very first email campaign. So without further ado, let me cross this out and take you to my MailChimp account dashboard where I'm signed in with my newly created account. And after that, simply I have to click on this create or this pen icon. And then we have to click on email. And after that, we have to provide a campaign name to this email. So let me provide a campaign name like let's say WordPress email newsletter and then click on begin and it is going to take us to a page where we'll be able to set up few more settings of this email campaign so as you can see at the first option we are seeing the campaign name so if for any reason if you want to change your email campaign name simply you can click on this edit name and then make the change of it as you want after that I'm going to cancel because it is totally fine to keep this name. After that, we have got this two field. If I click on this edit recipients field, you are going to see who are you sending this campaign to. So here is the option to select your audience list. So as of now, we have got only one audience list with only two subscribed contacts. So let's click on Ajharul Rafi. After that, we are going to have this option to segment or tag option. So if you click here, you are going to see we have got many options appearing here. Currently, this campaign is going to be sent out to all of the subscribers in our audience, which is Ashwal Rafi. But if you want, you can group or segment this email campaign to a specific targeted audience. So for example, we created or added few contacts with this copy tag. Now we'll be able to target them by simply selecting this one. But these are for one of our future videos. So let's move with this one, all subscribers in audience. After that, we are going to personalize the two field. To do this, simply check this part box. Then we are going to merge the tag to first name. Then we are going to click on save. After that, we have got the option for from. So as you can see currently, my name is selected to Ajharul only, but I want to provide Ajharul Rafi. So let's click on edit from then i'm going to make the change here Ajharul, then rafi and you can also change your email address for any reason if you want but i'm going to keep this as it is then let's click on save and just take a look we have got Ajharul rafi now with this email address then we have got this important part the subject line so let's click on add subject we are going to provide a subject line let's say uh, access full wordpress course and i'm going to add let's say one emoji which is going to be this one and for that i'm going to provide some preview tag so let me put something like don't miss this course or you will lose big okay after that let me click on save so we are done with these basic settings now this is the important part where we are going to design our email newsletter template. So let's click on this design email button right here. It is going to take us to a page where we'll be able to select some layouts or some templates if you need. So let's just see. As you can see, we have got few of these 
featured layouts like we'll be able to use this layout this layout for free but if you want to key, use any one of these layout which is containing this one upgrade to use you have to upgrade your mailchimp account so not only this we'll be able to use these layouts as well for free but for these ones we have to upgrade and let me show you one more thing from themes you are going to find some of the pre-built templates which you can which are really uh, like nice and you'll be able to use them for your email campaign by simply adding it and then customize it based on need so it is going to save you a lot of time so what i'm going to do i'm going to take you to layouts and we're going to build our template from the scratch and to do this i'm going to select this basic layout so let's click one sorry click on it and it is going to load our mailchimp campaign builder and just take a look this is the template as of now which we have got but if i take you back to our original email newsletter we have got these templates right so this is looking nice than this one so let me make the change first of all we are going to add this banner or the header image so let's go back after that we are going to click on this pen icon then let's click on this replace button and after that i'm going to upload an image by clicking on this upload then select the image let's click on open and it is going to be uploaded and added into our template just take a look now if you just notice whenever i am hovering over the cursor it is not just clickable so we are going to add our link in inside this image so whenever someone will hover over here they will be able to click and visit a specific page so let's just go back here on the original template after that i'm going to click here to get the link from here which i want to point so let's copy this link copy and after that let's go back to the campaign builder then let's click on this link button right here after that i'm going to paste the button right here sorry paste the link here and then click on advanced option from where make sure this option is checked open in a new window and then we are going to provide title attribute which is let's say access the course now and then i'm going to click on insert all right so if now i hover over my cursor over the image just take a look it is just turning into a hand right so this is now clickable so we are done with this header part now let's move back we are going to make the change here on these parts so first of all i'm going to copy this heading from here and i'm actually going to copy and paste all of this information to speed up the process right so you should have your own content for the email body so let's go back to the campaign builder after that to make change on this part simply we have to click on this pen icon and what i'm going to do i'm going to go back again let's copy this one and after that i'm going to paste it here on this search bar so that all of the default pre-formattings are going to be removed from this text so let's go back after that we are going to select this text paste the copied text and just take a look how it is looking like so easily we are being able to customize this content now let's go back after that i'm going to copy this text copy paste them here and then i'm going to select again all then copy let's go back here and after that i'm going to select all of these and paste them here just take a look easily we are being able to enter our information now let's go back here i'm going to copy these texts copy let's go back to the builder after that oh, okay so i have to paste them again here and copy all again to remove any pre-formatting text or pre-formats and after that let me click here hit enter and again another enter then i'm going to paste the information just take a look how easily we are being able to build this template from the scratch now let's go back again then we have got this part as you can see we have got this heading we have got this video preview so let's go back we are going to add these things so first of all i'm going to copy this heading from here copy let's go back we are going to click on this save and close button right here after that we are going to drag this text block so these are called blocks as you can see this button we have got video code etc etc so whatever you want to use so let's just drag this text block right here after that i am going to okay so i just copied this text and i have to paste them here and after that i'm going to copy them again to remove all of these let's say formattings let's go back i'm going to paste them here 
paste and then if you just notice this is a simple paragraph text as of now but this one should be h3 or heading 3 so let me take you back to the um, template after that we are going to select this whole text after that from styles you are going to be able to select this text to any heading so i'm going to select h3 just take a look how it is looking like right so this is pretty pretty simple now let's click on save and close after that we are going to drag this video right so let's go back here we are going to drag this video block from here to this part and after that we have to provide as you can see you can browse and upload a video here or you can add a video url here so let me take a video url so i'm going to upload or add this video url so open this video in a new tab and let's click on share i'm going to copy the video url let's cross this out and if i take you back to campaign builder if i paste the video url here it is going to just add our video here in this email template right so this is how easy it is to add up this information just notice this caption part so we have to make the change here on these caption parts from here so i'm going to copy these captions and we have to do some more settings as you can see we have got a different background we have got this different alignment of this text so let me take you back to the campaign builder and i'm going to remove these formattings first okay and i'm going to paste these captions here just take a look we have got these captions changed but they are center aligned so we have to make them aligned left so let me take you to style after that from align we are going to click here on this left align just take a look we have got this left alignment now if you notice we have got this background to another color so we are going to go back here after that from background from style as you can see from background we'll be able to make the change so as i am seeing this color right here it is pretty simple i've just selected and the color has been changed and we'll be able to make the change here by dragging and dropping these pointers just take a look right so let me just select this color and it is totally totally looking nice here now let me take you back after that we have got another text so let me take let's say let's click on save and close after that we are going to drag this text block here and then we are going to copy this text paste it here to remove the formattings copy again let's go back here and let's paste this information here after that we have got this text so we can actually keep this text inside this text as well actually this block so simple i'm going to hit enter enter and then paste this information sorry i didn't remove the formatting so let's copy and paste them just take a look how beautifully they have been placed now let's go back after that we have got this button where we have written watch wordpress full course so i'm going to take the button block from here so let's take button block and drop it here after that we are going to see these options by now so we are going to make the change watch the full wordpress course as an example after that we are going to see the link as you can see link to it should be web address but if you click here you're going to find email address anchor link or file so we are going to move with web address after that we have to provide the web address url so let me take you back this is the website url or the landing page url where we are planning to send our visitors so let's just paste this information here and then let's click on advanced options then select open in a new window we can give a title attribute here access the full course as an example then click on save and close but we are not yet done if you notice here we have got this button with rounded corners and it is just containing the full white so let me take you back and let me show you how we can make the change simply click here on this pen icon after that let's go to style and then from rounded corners you are going to be able to increase the rounds as you can see as i am moving this these rounds are being happening so i'm going to make it the full just take a look how it is looking like after that from settings 
we are going to be able to give the weight of this button as you can see fit to text is currently selected so let's click here and you're going to find full white so let's click on full white and it is going to be completely done oh okay one thing i forgot like as you can see here i'm seeing hi acharul this is really really important to make your email template personalized so instead of hi acharul we are going to take any of our subscribers name here so let me show you how you can set this up simple if i click here on this pen icon and then let's re remove this acharul or the name after that we have to click on this merge tags and then you are going to see some of these parameters so we have to select first name so now what it is going to do it is going to take any of our subscribers name let's say if john is subscribing to my email list if i am sending an email campaign the email campaign will look like hi john if rafi is subscribing then it is going to be hi rafi so it is going to be more personalized and engaging all right so this was an important setting i forgot but just showed let's click on save and close after that we're going to, we are going to move forward with the button so let's move back we are done with this button setup and we provided the link i believe yes we provided the link let's go back we have got this paragraph text and this paragraph text simple we are going to click on save and close after that we are going to take this text block here and we are going to copy this paragraph copy paste them here to remove all of these formattings and then i'm going to paste them here again after that we are going to copy this text paste and i'm going to give let's say twinter and then paste them here one issue here i'm seeing this text is aligned in left but if you notice we have got this text into the center of this box so let me show you how we can set all this up simple if i select all of these texts after that let's click on this alignment center aligned and just take a look we have got it centered but we got rid of the extra space which we'll be able to get by hitting one enter and just take a look now it is looking perfectly professional now if i take you back here we have got these icons so let me show you how you can put your social media information simple if i click here hover over and click and then you'll be able to make changes as you can see now if you don't want to put your twitter information simple if i click on this cross the twitter will be banished now let's say you want to provide your facebook url id so i'm going to provide my facebook id here acharul rafi i'm going to provide my website url here https www.acharulrafi.com and here is website and now let's say i want to add my youtube channel url let me show you how you can add simple if you click on add another service then you are going to find this option let's click on email and you are going to find like all of the social media links names as you can see spotify drivel flickr reddit medium and many other github so let's go with youtube here is youtube so let's click on it after that you have to provide your youtube url so i'm going to provide my youtube url which is acharul rafi editor here we go let's click on save and close now if someone clicks on facebook or this website icon or on this youtube link they will be visiting my credentials so this is it guys and here in this footer part we have to do nothing at all it is going to take all the important information it is going to point everything for us itself so it is going to save us a lot of time and then we are going to be all complying with the can spam act law of email marketing right so now if i click on save and close and then if i preview this template let me show you if this template is mobile responsive or not and we are going to verify if it is if everything working perfectly so let's click on this preview after that let's click on enter preview mode and you are going to see currently we are seeing this on desktop mode and if you click here just take a look this image is clickable if i click here it is going to take us to this page then we have got this button if i click here it is going to take our visitors into to a new uh, landing page all right so all looks good if i now preview the mobile version just take a look we have got this email template mobile responsive already right 
so everything is working perfectly fine now it's time to click on this cross icon and after that you will be able to send a let's say test email if you want if you click on send a test email you'll be able to send a test email to whatever email address you want mdrafi9 at gmail.com as an example and if you want to send this test email to multiple emails simple you just have to put comma here and then let's say rafi620 at gmail.com now if we click on send test a test email will be sent out into your email inbox and within like a minute you are going to receive that email so let's say everything working perfectly fine with our email campaign we have settled everything so nicely now it's time to click on this continue button right here and here we go it just taken us to our previous page where i have settled up every other information and as you can see now we have got the check mark to two field from field subject line and we have got the content ready as well now it's time to click on this send button right here and it is going to show you how many subscribers are going to receive this email so let's say if you have got 100 subscribers 1000 subscribers this email is going to be sent out to all of these 100 or 2000 subscribers that you have got so let's click on send now button to start or send your very first email campaign so let me click on send now and it's out there right so you are going to see wordpress email newsletter is one it's sorry on its way to two subscribers from the audience achol rafi take a breath you have earned it so now mailchimp is sending your email campaign to all of the subscribers that you have got on your email list so this is the process how you have to design your email newsletter template using mailchimp and how to send your very first email campaign to your subscribers so i believe you found this video helpful if you did please give this video a like share this video to help your friends and let me know your opinion by commenting below i hope to see you in my next videos have a good day. Bye-bye.